This is our second attempt at locating an anti-aircraft gun right around the corner from our house. We came a couple of weeks ago when I first got these mics and we were testing out the mics. <laughs> it is recording it, yeah. We were testing out the mics and we spent a good hour in the woods over there trying to locate this anti-aircraft gun. Couldn't find it, it was pitch black. We came quite late on a, I think it was Friday night, wasn't it? Something like that. Friday today, actually, but two weeks, three weeks later. <laughs> so, oh my God, what's that? Oh my gosh. Is that a bomb? Yeah, oh mate. You're gonna explode, put it down. <laughs> it must be about 18 months ago when I first saw a picture of this anti-aircraft gun in a woodland in Kiel. I couldn't find it anywhere. I managed to locate it to this area. So somewhere near that building there, that looks like a football stadium. It's somewhere around here. And I thought the only place could be them woods. I do have my drone with me. Maybe I'll take it up later if the weather keeps off. It's looking a little bit gray in some areas. But um, yeah, there's nothing online about this anti-aircraft gun at all. But I have found some information to say that it was modified for satellites. I believe it was installed by a professor at the university and it's got something to do with the observatory that sits here. If it's had satellites attached to it, it's gotta be on a hill. That just defeats the whole purpose of, of having it. That makes sense. I'm looking because it's like a pathway there. Yeah, do you know what these pathways are called? No. Elephant paths. Elephant paths? Yeah, same like this one here, but quite interesting things, really. So, this pathway here isn't really a pathway, but what they've done is they've kept the fence away and they've left it to be a pathway. But the pathway runs down here to the road. If people are walking this way, they probably always walk that way. So why build the path there? Why not build the path to come down and around back towards the buildings? Why build a path where people don't walk? When you next take a little bit of a walk out in your neighborhood, when you see like the road and then the pavement and then there's patches of grass, when you get to the corners, just have a look, see if there's a little bit of a, a cutaway. And that cutaway is due to people walking on it over time. I know loads of them from when I was a little boy and I used to play in the local neighborhood. There was loads of them. We're on kind of a hill here, so maybe walk along this path here. Some buildings there. God, I'd love a garden like this. There's one thing I always dream of, and it's having a garden like this. Beyond where my patio would be, to have a, a woodland like this. Doesn't that be massive? Doesn't need to be huge. I'd always, always appreciate a woodland like this. I think it'd just be amazing. Wildlife, birds, precious to own. Dory. Hum. Dory the explorer. Well, I seen some box. I seen a wooden post, which obviously there's something like this on the picture. So I'm thinking, like, is it somewhere here? You found it. There. I'm more than sure there's a metal structure there. Yeah, I think that's it. Yeah. Dora the Explorer. <laughs> well done. Oh, look at this ecosystem. Just watch Ooh. out, because it might be slippery. Oh my God, there's dust coming off these, Sylvia. Is look, there? There's actual dust coming off it. You see? Oh God, yeah. <laughs> Wonder why? Don't know. It's dusty. We made it. What's this thing here? Electrical thing. Yeah, that box there, isn't it for electric? These woods are so nice. They are. No. See all the green one side of that tree? And all of them are like that. It's almost like a, a spray of vegetation across the trees. It's so mossy. Look at that. I love it. Look at it. No, 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 no. 
So guys, here we have it. This anti-aircraft gun. Oh, see, I started to question myself. If it I, even exists. I started to question whether it even existed, yeah. So it does. And it does. Proof's in the pudding. They say that it was modified. I wonder if it turns. I was trying. It's very rusty. Yeah, it's just rusty, isn't it? Bit of WD-40. Should get that going. A little bit. <laughs> Had a whiff. Me too. I think it's the trees. Are the trees trying to warn us or something? Yeah. Just had a really strong smell. It wasn't a bad smell, mm -mm. but it was like that kind of foresty freshness. The thing is, today is the first relatively dry day we've had for ages. We're still in February. So we're still in winter. Still in winter, technically. Okay, this side isn't gonna move. <sighs> Try harder. Both these handles do two different things. So I'm wondering if that actually lowers it like that. Could it be. Do you know what I mean? It looks like that goes in or out by like probably that much. Yeah, could it be. So if the spirit level's not sitting straight, maybe you wind that so it also tilts that way. And then that one will tilt it up and down. And then there's probably like a handle that you turn the whole thing around with. Possibly. I'm just guessing, just guessing, I don't know. Military paint. Gosh. Some little switch there, handle. I'm so glad I found it. It's amazing. I found a picture of this on, on Pinterest. And when I did some Googling, there was absolutely nothing about it anywhere online. i split onto that. I don't know what it's made out of. Steel. Does it rust? Steel. I don't know. It's split in half. So the rust, I think, is what split it. Yeah. Hmm. You see how this is all, all split here, it's split in half. It looks like the rust here from this bit has, has actually split it by, by pushing out and it's pushed it and pushed it and pushed it to the point where it's come away completely. I'm trying to work out if that's a moving part. Well, it looks like it's a moving part, which was a moving part. Now we know where it is, I can come back with my, my big camera. I'm only using the phone. Quality's not the best on phones compared to cameras, but yeah, it's a nice simple find when now we know where it is. I mean, anything is easy to find when you know where it is. <sighs> SD card malfunction. I'm gonna have to use the one out of there. It's saying there's a SD card malfunction. What I'll do first is I will take it out and put it back in and see if that changes anything. It's fine now. Mm. Okay guys, takeoff permitted. We have 10 satellites. Here it goes. Take off. Home point updated. No, that's too far. Easy. We have to take the one out of there, unfortunately. Landing. You say the bed's pretty nice, isn't it? Yeah. This one's good. I, just, home. I was going to say, I don't know if it just looks a bit too manly. What do you think? It does, uh, but it doesn't at the same time. Nothing to be seen. I can imagine people, every it's time they change, yeah, every time they change bedding, they also Sylvia? Sylvia? <laughs> That's a you. Look like old Greg. <laughs>
the thing that we're after we're after like a thing for my desk like a cork desk mat mat thing cork desk mat thing hmm that could be nice bloody how fire that's for the way oh but it's still a lot oh 18 pounds oh, not too bad two pillars for 18 quid that's not bad that's good do we need one like this ideal for side sleepers yeah we need them it's, they're walled so we need one of normal and two of them so 32 pound mm. the pay that now so good at math did you more like 34 but yeah oh <laughs> <laughs> oh that one's nice yeah Temperature control, that's good. That's uncomfortable. And that's actually a bit like... You yeah. have to lie down with it, that's why. Soft. I like it, it's soft. It does remind you of Luna. Yeah, it does a bit. <laughs> <laughs> Quite trippy, really. This video's going to get demonetized. It will. But it'll be worth it. I found a nose massager and it feels really good and there's cameras everywhere you better put that away <sighs> have a go no feels nice no, no. that reminds me of the um the monster on monsters inc monsters university yeah <laughs> yeah do you know where the curtains and blinds are uh -uh. The ones that are made to measure, or the tracks and poles. Do I get cookie? Cookie? Yeah, that's a, a sponge. Yeah, that's a big cookie. <laughs> Simon! He actually. I'm going to throw a hand. Put this on me. <laughs> Got all the new Marks and Spencers stock in now. I do love a good shop around Marks and Spencers, but. The best time was during lockdown and they kept having these massive sales on. So like a shirt that's probably worth £40, they were selling them for like £6 and I was in here all the time. I think Sylvia's looking for me. Just see her over there, look. How is she not seeing me? She just looked directly at me. They had half of the store up here, this men's section, half of the shop was just gone and it was all sale items she's looking for me still she's uh gonna see her come past in a minute any second now you'll see her oh she's coming she's coming she's coming she's there <laughs> sylvia <laughs> Quite nice. Yeah. Mm. We need to try it on and see. Like this. I should go try it on. Yeah, I'm trying it on. Go get undressed. Going to, to school. Mm -hmm. Going to school. I'm always scared when I step on them. I don't mind going up them, but when I go down them, I'm always scared. Okay guys, I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. Thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed this one, don't forget to drop a like down below, subscribe if you are new, and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.